Hi and welcome back to the channel today on this bank holiday Monday. Apologies if I look a sort of bit sort of tired or whatever, look a bit punch drunk. I've just finished a night turn and that, um, 12 hour night turn, so I'm a bit sort of ugh. So I woke up this morning and we decided to come over to Factorum to play a game of Star Wars Legion. I thought I'd just uh, sort of come in and sort of show you around the new Factorum place for foreground. Um, it's a new game and event centre. I'd say it looks pretty good. It's not open quite yet, but, um, so I think it's the 1st of September now it opens, so not too long to wait. So I'll just spin the camera around and then we'll take a look as we go in. So here we are then, we're just going to go through the front door here. Just, me. just by the front door here is Floris, there he is. There's Floris, and Floris is actually going to be running the Factorum uh, event centre here at Foreground. Floris, we're saying a few words, mate, about, about Factorum. A few words about Factorum. Where to start and where to end? Factorum yeah. uh, can be anything any hobbyist wants it to be, so I honestly wouldn't know where to start. <laughs> When you come here, I mean, any, any questions, ask, and we will find an answer for you. That's yes, brilliant. Like I say. Yeah, that's brilliant, isn't it? I know you obviously this weekend, it's Bank Holiday weekend, Saturday and Sunday, you've run a 40k grand tournament. How did that we go? We did. Uh, we had 28 players. It was a success. It was very tiring for everybody. Two, two <laughs> days of uh, 40k gaming, uh, but everyone had a great time. And people went away, went away happy oh, that's brilliant for us what sort of the plans for the future is it always going to be events or can people just come and play or, or, or how, how what's the sort of what's the setup to people come down come down to the factorum uh, we are open wednesday uh thursday friday during 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 sorry wednesday thursday friday during the week and saturday and sundays weekends mostly tournaments but yep. there will always be tables available for people to just play uh, pick-up games. Sort of open play in that, yeah, yep, that's brilliant. Absolutely. Yeah, so long as you've got some tables and free for people to play. we do not want to limit ourselves to just uh, Games Workshop games. It's all sorts of yeah. games and events for various games. Also, non-gaming events, hopefully, fingers crossed, <laughs> in the future. Yeah, that's brilliant for us, yeah. Certainly, do you want to sort of give us a bit of a guide around so, so yes, show the viewers? Have, have a look around. Yeah. yeah. So, the boring bit, the counter, <laughs> where you come when you arrive, the interesting bit. So just kind of around the corner, there we go, let's move on through here. These are, the these are the first gaming tables you'll see when you arrive. And still laid up for 40k for, from last weekend. And they can be set out for any game system that... Uh, oh, it was Jamie want. in the background there. <laughs> so we've got a store, a part of, the, part of Factorum as well. And store is part of Factorum. Uh, we are a gaming venue first and a shop second. Yep. Uh, so... We will try to get the items in that you want. We can't yeah. guarantee that they will already be here when you decide that you want them. Sure. But we can always order everything in for you. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, that's great yeah. stuff. So, yeah, okay. So that's the initial game gaming area. But well, that's not all. Oh. Walk into the second <laughs> hall. This is where most of the games are played. Oh, I've got some couches down there. That'll suit me down to the ground. <laughs> Have a little snooze after me uh, game. In, in oh, no, I'm waving down the bottom there. <laughs> so again, table still laid out for 40k. We've yeah. already got one Star Wars game laid up now. Yep. Uh, these tables can be rearranged in any uh, format that is required. So if you people want to have a, a massive uh, historical game, then that is no problem either. <laughs> We have cabinets around the sides with various armies. Yeah, I've can... seen those, some of those. There are some really nice armies in there. We'll take a look at those in a uh, second. People can borrow them. Uh, so if you didn't bring, bring an army, then we will try and find you an army that you are comfortable with. Yep. And you can use that. And this is also where all the board games live, <laughs> which are available for people to play. And that's when all the scenery comes off the table and you can play Hero Quest, for example. Oh, lovely. Great game that is. Yeah, fantastic game. Oh, that's brilliant for us. It looks really good. Any sort of plans for expanding in the future? What's the sort of like, what's the thought processes behind um, obviously Factorum? Obviously, obviously, you've got to get open first. Yes, obviously, get set up uh, and everything yeah, else. Yeah. No, we uh, we are still in the in the early stages. Uh, we will be expanding. Initially, we'll be spending upstairs. Upwards. Yep. So the same area that we've got down downstairs and here will become available upstairs. Yeah, that's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. Once that is up and running and is a success, we'll actually go through that wall oh. and the downstairs area oh through narnia's the doors there <laughs> yes the wardrobe is actually a door into the into what is at the moment the factory yeah where all the foreground magic happens yeah yeah that's brilliant 
The other thing I was going to ask is, what about for if people want to just want to come over and do some building and painting? Is, is that sort of a possibility? That for is people? a possibility as well. We have, uh, and you've already walked past it. I don't know yeah. if, if it was I'll, called. I'll go back through that one in a second. Okay. Uh, that, those tables will be available for people to build their models and to paint models. That's brilliant. Okay. What about sort of doing projects and that? Can people do projects and actually just like you know, lead store a project here? Or would that be like building a bit of terrain or bits and pieces? That sort of possibility. We've already had visits from a number of shops who. Uh, we're here to build their scenery for their own uh, tables in in the shops. We also have models for heroes who come here twice a month. Yeah, I did see that on your yeah. Facebook page and that I just see that was being advertised. And that's really they, good. That's really good. That is, I do like that. They're here twice a month. Uh, they used all, well, pretty much all the tables, so, to be fair. And so, but yes, no, there's always, always space for uh, for people to build that various uh, brilliant. things. Yeah. And we always need tables. So... <laughs> If you are here and you are building something, chances are you're going to get roped into helping us build more scenery. <laughs> so bring your glue <laughs> and get yourself sorted out. Yeah, that's excellent. That is really cool for us. So that's really, certainly a, a brief insight, obviously, to how it's going to be in the future. And when's the opening date, the actual final, actual official opening date? The actual official opening will be towards the end of September. Right, okay. So at the moment, we are running it as as open days, yeah. which means that if something goes goes wrong and we can't quite get it right, then the excuse is it's an open day. Over every day. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we have roughly two weeks left yeah. uh, to get uh, to get rid of all of the errors. All the teeth and problems and, and issues yeah. and things like that. Which yeah. everyone always gets when you open up a new business, new venture Absolutely. and that. So yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Always happens. Yeah, that's right. I mean, obviously, I remember coming over here and seeing this. When it was the factory and obviously you had the it was where the packing was all done and everything else to transform it to where it is now it looks absolutely fantastic and it's certainly very atmospheric with obviously with all the boards and everything going around even the creaky floorboards and that sort of yes. adds a little bit of character <laughs> to, the, to the place some people compare it as if they're walking onto a ship yes and yeah. nice. when you're walking around, it does sometimes feel that way but it all adds to the atmosphere yeah definitely yeah definitely it does yeah so it's fantastic fun thanks for your time for that okay, floris that's brilliant i said we'll just go through and we'll just yeah, show you where we're where um where obviously where the building was what floris was talking about oh jamie sat in the old pride of place there with the old uh, cinema chairs uh, <laughs> right mate <laughs> It's great to just sit here and then relax. Yeah. Especially just if you, even if you're not into board game or anything, you can come here, relax. There's a library of there, books to read if you want to, or feel free to take them off the shelf. Yeah, that's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, like I say, there's the sofa over there is really good. So, this is what Floris was talking about just over here a minute. If I just spin the camera around. This will be, um, it's at the moment, it's just where they've been storing stuff at the moment. But when this opens up, and there was two th scores of thought for this. This is going to be the building area and painting area, but they're looking at expanding in, in, in the future, obviously making this more of a shop area and then moving the building and painting area further over upstairs or throughout the back and that to uh, to free up some more space. But yeah, excellent. It really is really good. And I do think it certainly does give anyone who's interested in game, oh, gotta show you this, gotta show you this. Massive great screen when you walk through the door, excellent. I mean, that does set some atmosphere when you come through the door. Uh, with, with the various films playing and that. Um, yeah, so I say very, very atmospheric in that down through there. Love the lighting and that over the tables down through the foyer there and which come into the actual gamers, uh, gamer centre. And as Floris said, there's the counter there as you walk through the door. Obviously, COVID pre uh, precautions at the moment, obviously your names and that in there, sanitizations and everything off your hands. But um, it, is, it is a really, really nice place to come and visit. So if you get you're in the area, Come on down, come and look it up. Factorum, part of foreground. It's the, um, what's the name of the road? What's the name of the road? I've lost, lost the name of the road, I forgot it's on the end. Road. That's it, Deverell Road, yeah. I, know, I, drive, I drive up and down it quite a lot, but it's one of those sort of things when you live locally, you forget where you are. <laughs> but there we are, that's it then, guys. That's the big screen, that's, it's a massive, great screen. And, uh, but yeah, there we are then, guys. Until next time, take care. <laughs>